All right, I wanna talk a little bit about simplicity and scale. So a lot of people have this idea that they wanna scale their business, they wanna grow it really big, and, but they don't really understand what that means, nor do they understand how to do it. They just know that it's a buzzword and they wanna scale. What I have learned over the years is that to scale, you must simplify. So the way that most businesses start out and people as they get started is they're building a business, if it's an agency, if it's a coaching business, consulting business, is their, their goal is to generate revenue and they wanna be able to just help people, but they take on anybody. They don't get too clear on exactly how they can help people and they'll take on any client. And when you do this, you start taking on clients and you start doing too many things. You don't have any real niche, you don't really have any process. And what happens is if you start adding team members, you can't duplicate that because you're helping seven different types of people with seven different major problems that you're really just a high paid consultant at that point, you're not running a business. So the way that you're able to kind of fix that issue, right? It's very tough to scale. And the reason being, let's step back. The reason it's tough to scale is because you, to scale, you have to have great people. You gotta have a great team. You're never gonna scale a business by yourself. Now, if you created all of this knowledge and all this information and you're trying to scale and you're trying to train people up on how to do it, you can't train people effectively on systems and processes that can get the same result that you can if you're a high paid consultant and you're helping, you just know how to help different people do different things. Unfortunately, I know this from experience. When I started my agency, all my knowledge was built from building my own businesses. So I was able to do everything in the business. So when we launched the agency, we were doing traffic, we were doing funnels, we were doing optimization, we were doing email marketing, all these things to help clients. And then what we ended up doing is over the years, we've always, as I've learned this lesson of simplicity, I've started pulling some of those services out and not offering them anymore. And what I've learned and I've seen happen is one, turnover in our team has stopped because people aren't as stressed out. Our team that we have is happier. They're all pushing towards a, a mission of where we're going and inside the agency side of it. So there's more, more happiness and more profit when you do it this way. And we've pared it down now to where really what we're becoming is a company that generates leads for passionate crowds of people. And because of that, we know exactly, we have a step-by-step -step process. We use our one-step funnel to do it. And the team can get behind that as we grow it. So what I wanted to do is just kind of impart, what I wanted to do is impart upon you the, the idea that if you want to scale, what you really need to do is look at your business, look at what you can simplify it down to, to make it a duplicatable process. Because if you simplify things so it's duplicatable and people can be trained, then you can put great people in place to do those things to help your business grow and reach scale. Scale is not you doing more and more work. Unfortunately, many people go to scale their business and that requires more time. It requires them to work 20 hours in a 24 hour a day. It requires them to work eight, eight days a week. They gotta find that eighth day to make it happen, right? So that's not scale, that's just working your ass off and getting burnt out and then hating your business. So if you want to scale your business, you need to simplify what you do so you can empower a great group of people to work with you to get that result that you're setting out to help people with. So anyway, just wanted to keep, talk a little bit about simplicity and scale and how people kind of misconstrue what it is so you've got the right idea of what you need to do going forward.